Hey, welcome back everyone. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to automate filling out forms. So if you're using something like the Chrome browser or the Brave browser, you actually have the ability to autofill things like addresses. So you can set up addresses and it'll, it'll fill that out for you automatically. But this is for more complex forms that have more information than just like an address. So let's say you're developing a website. Let's just say, for example, we're building this checkout page here and we're testing it. And while we're testing it during development, we have to fill it out over and over and over. And so sure, some of that stuff can be filled out automatically, but some of it cannot. So in order to do that, we have to use external tools. So one tool that I like in particular, I just found it uh, recently, it's called UI Vision. You can go to ui.vision to download it. You just add it to whatever browser you're using as an extension. And then they have something called X modules if you want to use uh, their desktop automation tools as well. But all you need to get going in the browser is their browser extension. And so it's an RPA, uh, robotic processes automation tool. And basically this is like a, a UI or a visual way of automating stuff, creating what are called macros. And so over here, what we would do, this is the page that we're developing, even though this is just an example from Bootstrap. Uh, just imagine this is the page that we're developing and we need to test the checkout process. And in order to do that, we need to fill out a bunch of information. So we know that we're gonna be doing this over and over and over again as we test the website. So we go up here to the browser extension that we've already installed and click on the icon. It opens up its own little thing here. If you want, you can resize these so that they're open at the same time. And now inside of here, you'll click on the blue button for plus macro and give it a name. So uh, we'll say auto fill checkout form for the sake of simplicity. Click on confirm and this will create a brand new macro. So we want to open it up a little bit more just so we can see all the options here. And so the simplest way to fill this out, instead of like clicking on add and then going here and uh, each individual one and trying to find the command that you want and going through the commands, uh, the simplest way to do it is just to record what you're doing. And so there's a record button up here at the top. So you'll just click on record, go over here, you'll fill out the information here. And then if you want, you can even have it click on the checkout. So then you stop the record and you have this macro. It's just everything that you did, it saved it, right? Uh, and so now next time you come back and you say, okay, well, this wasn't working. So I went and changed the code for it and I'm back ready to test it again. You simply go up here and click on play macro and it automatically fills out everything for you. And if you want it to, like I said, you can have it actually submit the form, which it's about to do in a second. Boom, form submitted. So then you know where the issues are, if there are any issues. And believe me, when, when you're working, from personal experience, when you're working on an application, even, honestly, even if it's like just logging in, uh, a lot of times when I'm developing, I will change it to where I'm always logged in so I don't have to constantly go create a new session uh, because that can be time consuming. If you don't want to write code to keep yourself logged in all the time, then you can use this. You can use a macro to where you just press one button, boom, it logs you in, and you're done. Uh, the macros are super powerful. You can actually have them navigate to different pages. Uh, open source RPA uh, what, UI Vision, the one we just used, has great documentation. I'll show you an example of that. Basically, if you go to a command, in this case open, this command opens a uh, URL. And so if you want the documentation, you just click this link info for this command and then you read through and it describes exactly what it does. And so you can do that for all these different commands. You just go to the command that you want, click on info for this command, it opens up the documentation and then you very quickly can learn 
everything you need to know about using that command. So what I just showed you how to do was the record feature where it just records everything that you're doing and it turns it into a macro automatically. Super awesome for filling out forms. Will definitely increase your productivity and save you a lot of time. And you don't just have to use this for web development. If you find yourself filling stuff out, whether it be spreadsheets or forms or anything like that, even if it's on the desktop, like I said, it, uh, this UI Vision software actually has a desktop uh, plugin that you can install. It's called X modules. Even if it's on the desktop, whatever it is you're trying to automate, you can create these macros. And a lot of times you can just record and do it automatically. Other times you gotta go in there and finesse it and get it to do exactly what you want to do. But hopefully this was helpful for you and you're able to save yourself some time in the future while you're developing. Thanks a lot for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next one.